This is my second video on balancing equations. These ones are slightly harder. If you're just starting out, I suggest you start with my other video on how to balance slightly more basic equations. If you want a bit of challenge and you want that A star, then this is the place to be. If you want to have a go at these first before me, then pause um, at the start of each slide and then try and then check your answers using what I do. So the method I like my students to use when balancing equations is to draw a line down the middle and then just start off by listing all of the elements that we've got on each side. It's good if you can keep all the elements in the same order so that you don't get mixed up. Then what you need to do is just go through and count how many you've got of each. So iron here I've got two of them, so I'm just going to put two. Oxygen, I've got three oxygens. Aluminium, I've just got one. I've got one iron, I've got three oxygens, and I've got two aluminiums. So we can see that things that are unbalanced are the um, irons here and the aluminiums here. The oxygens already are balanced. So I'm going to start off by looking at the aluminiums. I've got two over this side and I've got one over this side. So the best thing, the easiest thing for me to do is just to pop a two in front of there. I can then go through and uh, see how many of everything I've got. So my oxygen's balanced now and my aluminium's balanced. I have two irons over this side. I've only got one iron over this side. So what I'm going to do next is just pop a two in front of there. Two, three, two and everything is now balanced. Let's go on here, so it looks like this one will be nice and easy, but we've got some quite large numbers going on here. So just listing everything that we have on each side. Um, so you can see we've got some odd numbers, we've got some easy numbers, and we've got a discrepancy by the fact that we've got a large number over this side, a small number over this side. So that's the bit that I'm going to fix first. And all I'm going to do is just pop a 4 in front of there. Only having one thing over this side does make it quite nice and easy to work out where things go. Scribble out those, and I have 4 of those, and I have 12 of those. So I need to adjust the number that I have over here. 2 into 12 goes 6 times, so I just need to pop a 6 in front of there. I still have 4 of those, and I have 12 of those, and that is now balanced. This one is slightly different because we have brackets in here, but we treat it exactly the same as everything else. We also have quite a large number of uh, elements in this one. Again, just treat them exactly the same as everything else. So, one calcium, two chlorines, one potassium, one oxygen, one hydrogen, one calcium, uh, we've got one chlorine over there, one potassium over there, and the brackets that we have here, this little two outside the brackets means that everything inside the brackets is times by two. So, we actually have two oxygens and two hydrogens. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the oxygen and so hydrogen. So over this side you can see we have more oxygen and hydrogen on one side than we do on the other side. So what I'm going to do is just pop a 2 in front of there. Then look and see how that affects things. So my oxygen and my hydrogen are now balanced. Uh, oops, that should be a 2, I apologise. Oxygen and hydrogen are now balanced. Uh, my calcium is balanced, but my potassium, my chlorines aren't balanced. So I can fix that by just putting a 2 in front of there. Uh, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. And my equation is now balanced. Looks like a really scary one, but if you just follow the rules through simply, it isn't. Another one with brackets and now and quite a few different elements to uh, think about. Uh, see our hydrogen and oxygen. So we have one, we have three, we have two, we have one. We have one, again we have this bracket out, so the number of number outside the bracket, which means everything inside the brackets is times for that. So we've got three hydrogens here, and we've got one hydrogen here, so that means we have four hydrogens, we've got one, and we've got three oxygens. So you can see there's quite a few things um, balanced here. The first thing that I'm going to look at is um, the oxygen. So I have three oxygens over this side, I have one oxygen over this side. So all I'm going to do is just to put a 3 
in front of there. That gives us six and that gives us three. So the um, oxygen's in our balance, the phosphorus balance, but the chlorines and the hydrogens aren't balanced. You can see that I need to turn this um, six into uh, this this four here into six here. So I need to get two more over this side. So what I'm going to do is just put a three in front of there. This sometimes seems like it's slightly the way around. Students get a bit confused by that, but I'm just increasing it by two. So I have one. I have three chlorines. I have three hydrogens here and three hydrogens here, I make six hydrogens in total and I have three oxygens and everything is balanced. Last one now, this is much harder than I expect you to get on a GCSE paper, but if you've been able to do all the other ones, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't do this one. Give yourself a shout out in the comments so I congratulate you if you do manage to do this one. Follows exactly the same um, process as we have done for all of the um, other ones. Just follow the steps through logically, and you should have absolutely no problems doing this at all. So, one, one, two, two, three, one. Now, what we have here is um, something that I really don't like. I've got an even number on this side, and I've got an odd number on this side. So, the very first thing that I'm going to do is to try and get rid of that odd number. And I'm going to get rid of that odd number by just putting a two in front of there. So, that means I have four aluminiums. And I have six oxygens. This makes it a lot easier for me to go over to this side of the equation and turn this two here into a six. I can do that by just popping a three in front of there. One, three, six. That's great. I've got four aluminiums over this side and over one over that side. That's uh, super easy to fix. And I've got three here and one here. Again, that is super easy to fix. Looks like a tricky equation but once you have a go at it it's actually not that hard to do. Well done guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website promoscreen.com for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests or um, corrections below.